Happy Easter, everyone! It's time for Life Point Kids. Stand up to your feet and let's sing and celebrate! Woo! Hi everyone, welcome to Life Point Kids. Today is Easter, and we're so glad that you're here with us. If this is your first time, or if you've been here a million times before, we're really happy that you're here. Do you love your neighbor? Do you love them as much as you love yourself? Well, today we're gonna to discover how Jesus taught us to love our neighbors as much as we love ourselves. Even more than that, we're gonna see how he showed us how much he loves us. But first, I want you to check out this jar of jelly beans. I'll, I'll, I'll bet you like jelly beans a lot, don't you? Well, we're not going to be eating these jelly beans though. Trust me, these are nasty jelly beans. You do not want these. I have touched every single one of them. So, what are we going to do with these? Well, I'm glad you asked. You're going to play a game and try to guess how many jelly beans are in this jar. And how's that gonna work? Well, if you're here in person, you'll be receiving a piece of paper to write your name on and the number of beans that you think is in this jar. If you're watching online, you'll let us know your guess by contacting us by phone, email, Facebook, or yelling across the neighborhood. I don't care, whatever way you need to do it, you get a hold of us. But I need to know the number you guessed by this Tuesday. And I'll announce the winner next week at Kids Church. You know what? I'm feeling so happy about it being Easter. I'm going to give you a little hint. The number of beans in this jar is between nine and 3,462,561. Oh, oh, you wanna know what the prize is? Really? Oh, okay, well, the winner will receive a $25 gift card to Dairy Queen. So get your in quickly, okay? Well, we have a great service ahead of us today, so let's get started by going to Jesus in prayer and ask him to bless our time together today. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that we get to celebrate Easter today. We thank you that we can celebrate how much you loved us that you died on the cross for our sins and made a way for all of our sins to be forgiven. Lord, we ask you to help us to have a great service today, uh, a great day of celebration. And Lord, we ask you to open our ears, our eyes, and our hearts, and our minds to this important word that you have for us. We ask you to bless us today in Jesus' name, amen. Hey kids, today we are celebrating Easter weekend. We are so excited that Jesus is alive. Is it okay if I share something with you about myself? My favorite dessert is Lemon Lush. I love Lemon Lush. How many of you love Lemon Lush? How about the rest of you? What dessert do you love? You know, we use the word love to describe how we feel about something that we eat, but love really isn't the right word. Love is a word that is super important. The way we feel about dessert is not really that important when you think about it. The way we feel about God and other people, now that is important. That's what we are going to learn about in today's lesson. But first, I want to check out this video. Long, long, shoot the shot. Yes! Oh, oh, hey guys, it's me, Nick. I'm watching my favorite basketball team play. I love sports. Sports isn't the only thing I love. I also love ice cream. How many of you love ice cream? Yeah, I bet you do. My favorite flavor is chocolate. Mm. Love is such a funny word. What does it really mean to love something? What does it really mean to love someone? See, I got a card the other day from someone that I love, my mom. She told me how important I am to her and that she loves me so much. Doesn't it make you feel so special when someone tells you how much they love you? People talk about love all the time. There's even a special holiday dedicated to people's love for each other. You know what it's called? Yeah, you're right, Valentine's Day. You're probably wondering, why is this guy talking so much about love? I mean, it's Easter weekend, not Valentine's Day. But did you know that Easter has a lot to do with love? Really, it does. When someone asked Jesus what the most important command was, he said it was all about love. Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And then the second was all about love too. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. That's crazy. Sometimes we don't do a great job at loving God with everything we have. We also don't do a great job at loving everyone, even people who get on our nerves and bother us. But Jesus commanded us to love everyone. Jesus gave us the greatest example of what love is when he died on the cross. Jesus loved people so much that he died for them. That's a pretty incredible example of love. And if we're going to be followers of Jesus, we have to follow his command to love God and love others. Well, I better let you get to your lesson today. You're going to learn that it really is possible to love everyone, no matter who they are. It's going to be awesome. Well, this is Nick saying, Happy Easter. Wow, love is super important. Loving God and others is super important. The problem is, love doesn't always come easy. Love is something that we have to choose to express. It's a choice we have to make every single day. We have to choose to love God and love others. We will learn all about that today through our Bible story. We will learn what love in action really looks like. Right now, it's time to find out what you gotta know. What's happening, you crazy cats? It's me, Disco Dave, and I'm here to tell you what you gotta know. Today, we're gonna learn the two most important commands from Jesus. 
So today, every time you hear somebody ask you what you gotta know, you tell them, if I love God, then I love you. Ooh, I know tons of groovy moves to love songs. Which love song are we dancing to today? Come on, man, quit bugging. We ain't talking about the disco. We're talking about Jesus' commands. Oh man, why you gotta cramp on my groove? Listen, we're learning about how we gotta love God and love people. Those are the two most important things that Jesus wants us to know. Well, why didn't you just say so? Cause that's totally cooler Rooney. We gotta follow Jesus' example and love, love, love. Love God, love people. That's what it's all about. So today, every time you hear somebody ask you what you gotta know, you tell them. If I love God, then I love you. And that right there is what you gotta know. Well, I'm Disco Dave saying dynamite. What you gotta know? If, if I, I love, love God, God, then I love you. What you gotta know? If, if I, I love, love God, God, then I love you. It's time to stand up and sing praises to Jesus.
started his ministry on earth at the age of 30. He spent three years preaching God's love to the world and performing miracles. Jesus' disciples knew he had promised to set up God's kingdom on earth. He was going to be the ruler of the world. Jesus started something amazing. One day, something terrible happened. Jesus was arrested, beaten, and sentenced to death. His hands and feet were nailed to a cross. The soldiers laughed at him and they made fun of him. The disciples couldn't believe it. They expected Jesus to fight back and defeat his enemies. Jesus didn't fight back. Instead, he prayed for God to forgive the people who were hurting him. Sadly, Jesus died on the cross that day. The disciples were sad. They could not understand. They wondered how could this be happening? Jesus started such an incredible ministry. He had promised to set up his kingdom, but now he's dead. The disciples surely began to lose hope. They thought Jesus had failed to finish what he started. They expected Jesus to save himself, but that didn't happen. Jesus' body was placed in a tomb and a large stone was rolled over the entrance. Three days later, some women came to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body with some perfume. Guess what they found? Jesus' body was not there. Only his grave clothes were. Wow, what do you think happened? Suddenly, an angel appeared to the woman and said, why are you looking for Jesus? He isn't here, he's risen from the grave. The woman went to find the disciples to tell them the good news. Jesus isn't missing, Jesus is alive. Jesus later appeared to the disciples and many others, showing that he was indeed alive. Because Jesus is alive, we celebrate Easter. We celebrate because Jesus conquered death and the grave. He chose to sacrifice his life for us. It was the ultimate display of love. Today, in our lesson, you are going to learn the importance of following Jesus' example of love. What you gotta know? If, if I love God, God then I'll love you. Hey there, fellow coders. My name is Zara Zimmerman but you can call me Z for short. You may have heard of me before. I am the youngest cryptologist in the business. Well, what's a cryptologist, you ask? It's just a fancy word for a code decipherer. You know, a person who deciphers codes. I prefer the fancy word. I created my empire at only 12 years old. Some say I just have a gift for codes. This right here is my studio, the place where I dedicate my time to deciphering the toughest of codes. Every day, people from all around the world send me codes they need me to break. It's a piece of cake. Today, we'll be deciphering the Powerverse. It should be coming in any minute now. Oh, here it is. Let's see what we have here. Okay, time to get started on this code. You guys get to thinking. I'm gonna run it through my system. <sighs> All right, looks like my system can solve this one. I'm gonna need your help. Let's walk through it together. You must love the Aroldo? What is an Aroldo? That can't be right. What do you think? Well, these are certainly English characters. Perhaps it is just a mixed up or backwards word? Should we try mixing up the letters or running them backwards? Agreed. I'll run it through the scrambled letter algorithm. Lord, that's it. Okay, moving forward. You must love the Lord your God with all ooer heart? I'm lost, team. What could this be? Your? Really? Okay, I'll try it. Wow, 
You guys are good. I guess we can apply that rule to all the ooers in the verse. There we go. So the last piece we have is, well, these farm animals? Sorry guys, I have no idea what this is. Let me run it through my animal algorithm. No help there. Maybe it has to do with other names for these animals or the sounds they make. A horse says nay, right? Hmm. Nay oink? Nay pig? Nay boar? Oh, team, that's it. Another name for a pig is boar. I think it's nay boar. Let me run that through. Yes! We've done it! Time to read it all together. Stand with me and read the power verse on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Fantastic work, everyone! I am so impressed with your skills. I might just have to bring you all into my coding team. Well, looks like I've got another code coming in. Until next time, this is Z. See you soon, team! But you gotta know. If I love God, then I'll love you! You know, I love riddles. In fact, I have some of my favorite riddles right here. And I want to read one of them to you and see if you can guess the answer. All right? You ready? Here we go. It belongs to you, but your friends use it more often. What is it? All right? It belongs to you, but your friends use it more often. What is it? It's your name. So, did you have the answer? Well, in the book of Matthew, chapter 22, Jesus was asked a riddle. He was teaching a crowd that, and was approached by one of the Pharisees. The Pharisees, if you remember, were a group of people, of religious men who knew the scriptures really, really well. However, they were against Jesus. They didn't like him. They thought he was getting too popular and taking away from their power over the people. So one of the Pharisees raised his hand and asked Jesus this riddle. He said, what is the greatest commandment? The Pharisee was hoping that he could trick Jesus into answering the wrong way. He was hoping to trap Jesus with this riddle, but Jesus was so much smarter than the Pharisee. Jesus answered, he said, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And this is the greatest commandment. Wow, it's true, isn't it? The most important command is to love God. Loving God is the greatest commandment of all. Jesus says that we are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all of your mind. See, we need to remember that in everything we do in life, this is the number one most important thing. We must love God. We must love God, not just a little bit, but with all of our heart, all of our soul, and all of our mind. So what are some of the ways we can show God that we love him? Well, Aiden, will you come up here a minute? Will you help me with this? Come on up here. Hi, Aiden. How are you doing? Good. Say hi to everybody. Hi. All right. So, Aiden. Can you give me some examples of ways that we can show God that we love him? Sing praise and worship to him. Yeah, sing praise and worship songs. Very good, that's, that's a good one. All right, can you think of any more? Um, pray and tell him. Yeah, pray him, pray, yeah, talk to him and tell him that, that you love him, that's good. And can you think of one more, one more? Um, go to the Lord's house and I'll learn about him. Oh, that's right. Go to church and learn about it. That's good. That's great. Well, thanks, Aiden. I really appreciate that. Thanks. Go ahead and take a seat. Great examples. Those are great examples, Aiden. So there are many ways that we can show God we love him. I'm sure you all thought of some other great ways, too. 
There is no one way that is better than the other. But we must love God with everything we have. God doesn't want us to love anything, anything at all, more than we love him. Most of us would agree with the fact that loving God is the most important commandment. But Jesus followed up with something else that I'm sure blew the Pharisees' minds. Jesus said, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. Wait a second. Jesus said that the second most important commandment, which is just as important as the first one, is love your neighbor as yourself. Wow. So not only should we love God, but we must love others. We must love others. This had to be really hard for the Pharisees to hear. Why? Because it's easy to love God. You know, he's an amazing, loving God who has never done anything but wonderful things for us. It's not so easy to love others. And Jesus said that we are not only to just love others, but we must love others as much as we love ourselves. Wow, now that's really hard. That means you must love your brother or sister when they know you. Mm -hmm, that's right. That means you must love the kid at school that everyone makes fun of. And that means you must love the bully on the playground who picks on you. That means you must love everyone. You see, we're all God's children. God created every human being, and he loves every person exactly the same. The Bible says in 1 John 4, 7 through 8, that we must love one another because anyone who does not love does not know God. That means that if we claim to love God, but don't love others, then we are just fooling ourselves. If we love God, we will love others. I know it's hard sometimes, but you can do it. If you follow Jesus' example, you can do it. Jesus showed us what it meant to love God and others when he died on the cross for our sins. He gave his life to pay the price for our sins of every person in the world. Then, three days later, he rose from the grave. He's alive. And the same power that raised Jesus from the dead can help you show love to others, even when it's hard. So the greatest gift you can give Jesus this Easter is to obey the two greatest commands, to love God and to love others. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this word today. We thank you for this Bible story. And we thank you more than anything that you uh, sent your son to die on the cross for our sins. Lord, we ask you to help us to love others as much as we love you and as much as we love ourselves. Lord, it's commands that you gave and they're equally important. So we ask you to help us to do this. We want to follow you and we want to be obedient to you. So help us to show love to others. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, to show God's love, you first need to receive his love. See, you can do that by choosing to follow him, by accepting him as your Savior. You see, it's very simple to do that. It, it, the best thing to do is accept Jesus in your heart and to make him the Lord of your life. All you have to do is admit that you're a sinner, because we're all sinners. Believe that he died on the cross for your sins and rose from the dead and trust him for your salvation. Give your life to him. Confess your sins, sins to him. If you're here in person and want to accept Jesus in your heart, come see me after the service. If you're watching online, contact me and ask me about it, or you can talk to your mom or dad. You can talk to your older brother or sister, and I'm sure they will walk you through the steps of salvation. It'll be the most important thing and the most wonderful thing you will ever do.
It's time to rewind and see how much you can remember from today's lesson. Question number one, what you gotta know today? Love, 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 love like Jesus, or if I love God, then I'll love you. If your answer was, if I love God, then I'll love you, you were correct. Question number two, how did Jesus die? On a cross, in a fight, or on a boat? If your answer was on a cross, then you were correct. Question number three, how many days was Jesus in the tomb? One, two, or three days? If you said three days, then you were correct. Question number four, did the disciples expect Jesus to die on the cross? Yes or no? If your answer was no, then you were correct. Question number five, who rolled away the stone from Jesus' tomb? His mother, the disciples, or an angel? If your answer was an angel, then you were correct. Question number six, did Jesus fight back when he was arrested? Yes or no? If your answer was no, then you were correct. Now, the next three questions will begin with according to our lesson today. Any number of the answers could be right, but I'm looking for the answer that has to do with today's lesson. Got it? Great, here we go. Question number seven, according to our lesson today, Love yourself, love God, or love nobody? If your answer was love God, then you were correct. According to our lesson today, love others, love animals, or love nobody? If your answer was love others, then you were correct. Question number nine, according to our lesson today, follow Jesus' example, follow teacher's example, or follow friend's example? If you answered follow Jesus' example, then you were correct. Question number 10, where was our power verse found? Micah 139, Mark 1232, or Matthew 22, 37 through 39? If your answer was Matthew 22, 37 through 39, then you are correct. Well, how did you do? Are you the geniuses that I believe you are? Did you get most of the answers correct or all of the answers correct? Very, very cool. Bravo! All right, it is game time. And guess what, you guys have chickens in your hands, right? Chickens yeah, are chicken. synonymous with Easter. They really are. I know you what? don't believe it. Yes, they are. They are. Because Jesus wasn't a chicken when he died on the cross for our sins. <laughs> so, okay. You all ready? You're going to fling your chickens at the board. The one who gets it in the hole or the ones that get them in the hole are the winners. Okay. You ready? Okay. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Whoa. Red. One red. Keep going. Keep going. Aiden has one in there. Oh! Oh, boy. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, we have a green one and a red one. I'm out. Uh, oh, you got one in too. So we had actually three people get a chicken in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you all three stick your hand in and find one name in the bucket. Okay, ready? We work together here. Go ahead. One, two, three, go ahead. All right, so we're gonna pick three names. So uh, each of those names will be a virtual player, a virtual winner. So if you're here in person, you need to let me know you're watching. If you uh, are watching online, you need to let me know you're watching, okay? So here we go. You ready? All right. Read the name. Who you got? Andrew George. Andrew, you are a virtual player. You're a winner. Luke. Perea. All right. Luke Perea, you're a winner. And? 
Dalton Emerald. Emerald Dalton, you are a winner. All three of you, let me know if you're here or if you watched online and you'll get a $5 Walmart gift card. What you gotta know? If, if I, I love, love God, then I love you. We are really glad that you are a part of Kids Church today. We hope you enjoyed the service and have had an opportunity to learn about how much Jesus loves you. Let's pray and ask Jesus to help us with what we learned today. Bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for us and help us to remember that sacrifice that you made for us, Lord, and help us to remember that we are to love others the way that you loved us, Lord God, and help us to see people the way that you see people. And Lord Jesus, we just thank you for this service, and we thank you um, that we can all be together. In your holy, precious name, Jesus, amen. Before we go, I want to remind you that Vacation Bible School is coming up soon. That will be June 12th through the 16th here at LifePoint. It's called Stellar, and it's a space theme. All the details you need will be on our website soon. It's going to be a great VBS. Happy Easter! See you next week at LifePoint Kids, where we are learning to live for Jesus every day.